Now, it's battle time. That's right. We are getting ready to do our on-air battle. We put out a poll for our friends on Twitter slash X, and I'll go ahead and give you the rundown of what everybody's choices were and where they came in. So we had four choices, but we had a total of six votes. Nobody, not a single person, voted for heroes versus villains. A total of 16.7% voted for Americans versus the world, which that should be fun if one if that ever wins. We did the spiders versus the syndicate, which was, of course, the spider heroes versus the sinister syndicate. That came in at 33.3%. And then winning with half of the votes, or 50%, <laughs> <laughs> magic versus machine so that is what we are going to do this evening it is a friendly battle between evan and myself i am taking machine related some type of tech related cards here evan you are taking the mage side of thing you'll be using cards in your deck that are somewhat magic related yeah mystical and- power source or something like that. I don't, I think I only have one that you might challenge me on. Oh, really? And I'm prepared to defend it. I sincerely doubt I, ch- I and challenge. And spoiler alert, Agatha is not in there. <laughs> uh, I, I, I want to keep my winning streak going and I'm not outsourcing it. Yeah, man, we're you're at a total of like three in a row now, aren't you? Uh, well, three or like four? Yeah, well, you would. Um, all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me get this. You sent me the code. I am. I had to plug my phone. You even customized my cosmetics with with Wong as my avatar. Nice. I did as well. I have Quinjet as my avatar. Oh, I didn't even know Quinjet was an avatarable card. Yeah, yeah, it was. And remember, listeners, the code is two five four six five. So if you go put that in, you, you might get matched up with a random person. But this battle will be long over, so there's really <laughs> nothing you can do about it. Right. Okay. I could not find a good title for my machine deck here. Mm. Battle I, I, begins. I, I have to admit, mine was a little uh, late. So yeah, I, I just have it under my secret defenders as needed. Okay. Uh, All right. Group. So uh, warrior falls after each turn. Cards here fight. Destroy the weakest ones. Okay. I feel like this is someone that absolutely uses tech quite a bit. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, Electra. She Electra. Electra. She was resurrected by magical means. Okay. Oh, and you laid her on the hot, the white hot room. Uh, well, I put my yellow jacket on Warrior Falls, and I'm really hoping that he staves off everybody with his massive two power. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, okay. So round two. Yo, I've got Iron Fist joining Electra in the White Hot Room, and I'm going to send the hood over to Warrior Falls so Yellow Jacket can take him out for me. Nice. Good be a bit of strategy there. All right, so you've got the White Hot Room with three to zero. I've got Warrior Falls still two to zero, and the Throne Room just showed up. Cards here with the highest power have their power doubled, and that's, yeah, that's a big deal. Quite a big deal. Uh, My play is in. Mine is not. Oh my gosh, I don't want that. Sure you did. I really, really could use that. Oh, oh, magic showing up. Warrior Falls into Limbo. Quinjet showing up on the throne room. All right, so it's two to two on Limbo, three to nothing me in the white hot room, and Jesse's winning four to nothing in the throne room. Turn number four coming up. Jesse finally enters the white hot room with rescue. Got Doctor Strange. He's oh, go ahead, teleport magic into the white hot room. Fill that up. So three more energy for me. Not sure it'll do me any good. And uh, the demon that the hood produced lands in the throne room. Gets doubled to a twelve, putting your Quinjet down to a measly two. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna have a lot of cards to deal with here as we go into turn. So this is turn five of turn seven now. Limbo changes everything to where the game now has seven turns instead of six. Eh, I'm feeling a little snappy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Snap away, sir. Snap Perhaps away. Perhaps that was a bit premature, but I guess we'll find out. Whoa. Whoa. Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch. Turning Limbo into Elysium, and White Tiger sends the Tiger Spirit over to the throne room. Jesse activates the rescue bonus with Vision in the White Hot Room. 
All right. Final turn. Turn six is, is back to the final turn. Let's see, what am I going to do with this nine energy I've got over here? <laughs> a Thank lot. Thank you, White Hot Room. A lot. I know what I'm doing. Vision jumps to the throne room. Absorbing man who got his powers no. magically from Loki gets another tiger spirit in the throne room. And hey, there's Odin. Odin. Oh, oh. my gosh. Yeah, Turned it into the raft. Oh. Gave me another tiger spirit. This is disgusting. All right. Oh, hey, Vision took my bonus away. The, oh. Uh, oh, that was close. Not enough. Not okay, enough. Okay, so Jesse dropped Doctor Doom on the on the raft, which uh, Elysium became after Odin activated Scarlet Witch's powers again. But Scarlet Witch, White Tiger, Absorbing Man, and Odin gave me seventeen on the raft to Jesse's seven. Doom sent a Doom bot into the White Hot Room to keep Rescue Company after Vision jumped over to the Throne Room, and Jesse wins that thirteen to eight. And Vision with his newly uh, altered. Power level of eight takes the bonus in the throne room, and another Doombot in there gives Jesse 22. But three, count them three Tiger Spirits and a Demon uh, gave me 27. Man, oh man, that white hot room helped you out a ton. It did. It did. All right. Well, that that was that hurt because that was four energy right here in this first game. And well, the second our, game, we've got the mirror dimension. Goes goes along with the magic uh, stuff we have going on. That's true. And I've dropped Iron Fist and his mystical Iron Fist into the middle location, which is the hub. Yeah. Jesse Mirror played uh, nothing. And didn't have anything. Mirror Dimension, by the way, on turn four, transform into one of the other locations. So well, I know we've had that before. Let's take a look here. Here's when I think tech, I, I have, for some reason, this person comes to mind first and uh, some of the more obvious people. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but here's Electra throwing a sigh at nobody. <laughs> no target. And she gets docked into the hub, and then here's Ghost Spider that I got from the hub. I guess Cable's techy enough. Uh, I'll take it. All right, oh, so now wow. I've got three people in the hub. That wasn't very well thought out. <laughs> uh, okay, the Baxter building shows up as our third location, which person who controls this gives plus three to the other two locations. It's a nice little bonus to fight for. Man, I did not realize how much a lot of these turns I'm going to have inter extra energy left over. Oh, and Magic coming out again. Turning mirror dimension is now limbo. So now yeah, we have Jesse's a seven got a turn. Sentinel. That's pretty yeah. technical. Yeah, yes, indeed. Who's showing up at the mirror dimension? I mean, at the Baxter building? Oh, Jesse's got a Hulk Bustard Sentinel, which actually reflects current events in X Men comics. And I've got Wong. Hulk Buster she Sentinel's reflecting that in comics, huh? Stark Sentinels. Oh my gosh. Wong is out there. This is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I'm not liking it. Hey, let's snap again. Oh my gosh, Evan. Jeez. All right, Wong's going to get some company here. All right, so I lay out the Quinjet. It'll help these Sentinels cost one now. And I've oh, got Baron oh. Mordo at the Baxter building. So with Wong, so that should give you two cards that are now six cost. Thing is, is I only had one slot open. I had six cards in my hand, so oh. <laughs> it only did one, which I'm, I'm perfectly fine with. But the one that it hit me on a six with is rough. That's really rough, actually. All right, then. Let's see how we do. Well, Doctor, Doctor Doom. Doom on the Baxter on. building. That's appropriate. And I bring in Thor next to Wong. So he's going to throw two Mjolnirs two, in my deck. Two Mjolnirs. This is disgusting. I do not want to do that, but I will do this. All right. Here we go. Well, I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but let's try it. If I Iron Man two... doubling up the Baxter building. And another Sentinel, that gives you 32, so you're probably going to win the Baxter building. Let's see how the other locations go. Well, they better... Hey, there's oh! White Tiger with a pair of Tiger Spirits at each of the other locations. Oh, you are... What? Oh, man. That was unexpected. What? Then Scarlet Witch <laughs> uh, changed the location twice and wound up with the rickety bridge, so it wiped out all eight of our cards there. So I won Limbo 15 to 7, the Hub 12 to 8, and the Rickety Bridge was a 0 0 tie after Jesse had like, what, 30 some points there? That is disgusting. I mean, that was just insult to injury. I just needed Limbo and the Hub. Scarlet Witch needs to stop. No more wow. cards. Wow. So, current score I have two left while Evan has not been hit at, at all. There's only been two games that have been played. I need some stuff. Man, do the machines need to turn around here? For our battle, too. <laughs> That's true. Oh, the Nexus is in play. I know not to get my hopes up, though, because there's magic involved, literally, and <laughs> Scarlet Witch is also involved. Oh, hey, Electra. Now, 
I turned over first, so Electra couldn't Almost. take out the Quinjet. Oh, the Quinjet. Two one at the middle location, which is revealed as X Mansion. So after turn three, we're each going to get a random card, which may not be thematically appropriate. <laughs> That's okay. And there's a Sentinel in the undisclosed third location. He's going to face off against Baron Mordo. Oh. I really want a movie oh variant God. of Baron Mordo because I prefer Chuatel Ejiofor as Baron Mordo. Third, our third location here, Adelan is going to switch. Uh, basically reshuffle our cards into our deck, which I'm just going to go ahead and tell you this because it's never going to get played. Your Baron Mordo made me draw Yellow Jacket. Oh, six. nice. Six cost you. Oh, I've got to play something. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, why not? Yeah, Cable in the Nexus. So you're going to steal a card from the top of my deck. That's Cable's tweaked ability. And a Sentinel yeah. on the Nexus, giving you five at every location. And I've got Doctor Strange at the X-Mansion bringing Baron Mordo over. Because why not? You you have been filling that middle location pretty quickly, these games. And it's... Oh, and I get a yellow... Hey, you got a yellow jacket. Got and I got Captain jacket. America. Uh, you I got are a the one, one that to walks... everybody on my location ongoing, and you got an instant minus one. That's so stupid. Give me a break. All right, now. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that was wrong. I made a mistake. You made a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. I got so concerned with whether I could do it, I didn't stop to think if I should do it. Mm. Oh, man, Rescue, uh, the nine. And I've just got Absorbing Man, who's copying Doctor Strange's teleport and moving people away from the X-Mansion for what reason, I don't know. Guess so I can have fewer <laughs> points all around. Uh, Brilliant right. strategy turn, right there. Turn five. Looks like I am, I'm winning all three here right so far. Nexus is giving me nine. And by the way, the Nexus, the way that that works is however much power you have there. Is translated also over to every other location that you have. So if you're if the location was to somehow change, you, yeah. you wouldn't uh -huh. have that twenty two points anywhere. Oh hey, look at that. It's I, limbo now. Thanks, Magic. I could have wrote this. I could have wrote that happening. Oh, here comes Scarlet Witch, and thank you very much for the pet mansion. Why, you're uh, welcome. And we have got a situation here where we've got seven turns. Jesse's got limbo full and is winning twenty two to two. I'm up nine three at the pet mansion and eleven three at Adelon. We got two turns left. Just Letting everybody know I'm not playing the six-cost yellow jacket. Your stupid white tiger. Yeah, but only got to use her once this time. No long. Jesse moved the vision over to the pet mansion, but with a boosted tiger spirit there, I'm still winning 17 to 11. And there's now two sentinels in Adelon, where I've got an 11-6 edge there. And I wish Sunspot was mystical. Is Rainfire mystical? I figure Roberto's used magic at some point. And the point is I don't have seven points worth of cards to play. Or room to play them. Uh, I've got to really strategize here. Strata who? Strategize. Strategization. Okay. Ooh, Vision moving over to Adelon. And I put Thor in Limbo just because I had to put him somewhere. Uh, yeah. There just we go. Just to fight another there day. There we go. There we go. Why didn't I snap? Because I'm scared. I wouldn't have well, been so you couldn't anyway. have. Yeah. All right. So, so the that demon gets... landed in Adelon, but uh, Jesse's Doombot and the Vision's arrival gave him an 18-17 edge there. I won the Pet Mansion 17-11, to 11, but uh, a Doombot on the already stacked uh, Limbo location gave Jesse an 18-4 victory there. Uh, it's amazing that we each have four cards on every single location here. <laughs> uh, it's not Makes me too wish common I had that dazzle. that happens. Oh, yeah. All right, round four. Here we go. All right, and it is the hub giving us a random card. Not a very magical one, I'll tell you that. Same. Ooh, the Wakandan Embassy, we're all going to get plus two power. Oh, which is really nice with my uh, not-so-random card. I mean, my not-so-magical oh. card. Not-so-magic? Yeah. So magic. And there's a Sentinel at the Wakandan Embassy. And on the unrevealed third location, hey, there's Baron Mordo. Oh, Hope you got Yellow Jacket so what again. What am I doing? I did! <laughs> oh, wow! I drew another Yellow Jacket. Way to oh, go, Carl! Oh, wow. Okay. All right then. When the hub gives you brood and the Wakanda Embassy boosts up their power, play them on the hub. That's what Indeed. I always need. Play them. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think that's what everybody said. And you played a Sentinel at Monster Metropolis, so it's six six there. Your Sentinel gives you a three nothing edge at the Wakanda Embassy, and my boosted up brood give me twelve nothing at the hub. We're at the halfway point, unless I play Magic again. <laughs> Stupid Magic. Like, how do you not have a Magic deck? without magic in it and she's and she has studied sorcery under dr strange so it's not right. just a clever name boy oh boy there was a card i took out of my deck that i'm currently regretting and i don't know if i could have 
I mean, I could have made an argument for Mojo or not Mojo, but um, oh goodness. Uh, yeah, Magic says let's why, do a turn why, seven. Why could I not think of Arnim Zola? That's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, he'd he'd be he'd be a tech dude. All right, Monster Metropolis, Baron Mordo's ruling supreme over there, I believe. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. My Sentinel's kind of giving him a tough time. Okay, All right. Rescue's oh. boosted up to an 11, so I'm glad my Tiger Spirit landed there. Oh, and now yeah. with Hulkbuster armor, Rescue's in an 18 all by herself. I like it. So with White, with White Tiger... Iron fisted over to Limbo. I've got seven there, and Jesse's got three with a Sentinel, and then Cable and a Sentinel, and Baron Wardo and Iron Fist are facing off with eight each. Mm, let's see how this works out. Jeez. Can't teleport anybody. Hey, does this make it a six what? turn game? No, don't. Okay, dude. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> It didn't pay <laughs> off. Okay, oh, so Scarlet man. Witch and Doctor Strange landed in limbo. Scarlet Witch uh, turned it into a turned it into Muir Island, which eliminated the seventh turn. And I had a uh, I had a lead at two locations, but Jesse played Ironheart at the hub, and she managed to boost uh, one of the three cards she boosted was Cable at Monster Metropolis, which gave Jesse the win there. Ah oh, man! Not only did it boost me up, it dropped your cards down. And yep. that was yeah, maybe I should have taken that third turn, but you know, like I was I, saying in, I, in the earlier episode, I'm seeing more magic and I'm seeing uh, more uh, magic counters. So, mm -hmm. but I'd see how how it worked out. Not so well. I had Cable convinced uh, Ink Split Thor to come over to the to my side there, but oh. I never had a chance to play him. Oh, I dropped the hood in the unrevealed middle location oh, and it's the, the peak. stinking peak. The Which beast. means my 1-6 demon is now a 6-1 demon. And I'm not talking about a fight. <laughs> uh, oh, man. That is fantastic. Oh, wow. So the peak, ladies and gentlemen, switches the power and the cost of the cards that are in your hand. So if you've got a low power, high cost card, usually those are heavy hitters. Hey, but hey, there's my white one tiger. cost, five power white tiger. Sending a Tiger Spirit over to Nidavellir with Electra. That wow. gives me an 18 nothing advantage there. Jesse's winning 2 to negative 3 at the peak, thanks to the hood. And now we have the Dark Dimension, where cards here are not revealed until the game ends. Okay. Swell. Oh, oh and I'm winning 5 to yeah. nothing there because White Tiger went from a 5-cost 1-power to a 1-cost 5-power that spits out a 7-power card. Ow. When I lay this Sentinel down, it better give me a correct cost Sentinel. Uh, oh, and there's Iron Man, who's suddenly zero cost, five power, and eliminating my rather impressive uh, lead at Nita Valir right away. So Jesse's yeah. now up 34 to 18 there, and, and two to one that. on the peak where I've got Thor. And then I've got five with my visible white tiger on Dark Dimension, and Jesse has a card that we just don't know what it is over there. That's right. That is correct, that right there. Trying to battle back. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Magic Scarlet Witch are staring you right in the face right now. And you're like, hmm, which one do I change? Well, I, I can tell you. Oh, I'm running out stay of time. Away. I got to do something. Stay out Stay out of the way Stay out of the way of Nita Valir. Keep it the way it is. Oh, changing the peak to Necrotia. Oh, delightful. That did not help you. <laughs> it did not. So Jesse's up 34 to 18 on Nita Valir. Zero to negative two on Necrotia, and I'm up five nothing on the Dark Dimension, but Jesse's got two cards there yet to be uncovered. I've got one. Now, Jesse's got Vision on Necrotia, and I've got a third card on the Dark Dimension. Any idea what the heck is going on here? <laughs> Frankly, uh, if, if, this had, if this was in danger of jumping to four, I would have retreated, but I'm going to lose two either way, so let's see how it goes. Okay, yeah, Yellow Jacket Rescue and Doom on the Dark Dimension. So there's Mjolnir. Mark is going to have here, okay. All right, so that gives I'm him what, plus four? four? up enough, long, and no, don't worry, nothing's this? going to happen don't. with one there. Okay. So no, I All just right. lost. All right, so yeah, Nidavellir 52 to 18, me, Necrotia 8 to 5, me, and Dark Dimension 11 to 9, me. Do you think you could have, like, would there have been an argument to put Doom in your deck? You know what? There would have been I mean, a great argument to put Doom in my deck. I didn't even yeah. think about it. Oh, he's Mystic and Tech all the way. Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you one card that I haven't played and I don't think I'll play. 
just because it does not go with any of these other cards, and that's Deathlock. Mm. So Deathlock is in my deck, but he is not going to get played unless there is a situation where there is a completely free location. That's the word that I can go into. Oh, the Crimson Cosmos is going to make things difficult there. Cannot and play. I've got the hood sitting there. So I'm Jesse right. hasn't played a card, and I'm losing uh, zero to negative three on the Crimson Cosmos. <laughs> yeah, Jotunheim, our first location, by the way. After each turn, cards here lose one power. So the strategy there is to not have as many cards as the other person usually. All right. So Jesse's got a Sentinel on the undisclosed third location. And I've got Iron Fist joined by a Demon, but he's going to pop the Demon right over there to the Crimson Cosmos with the hood. So I put a one nice. cost card on the Crimson Cosmos anyway. Yeah, you just did Third that. Third location is Monster Island. Now we both have a nine power monster. So that puts Jesse up 12 to 11 instead of three to two. Okay. Right. I'm play Scarlet Witch. Oh, so all right. Time doesn't... Oh, and it's Lake Hellas, which how fortunate that, that I put Electra there and she gets a plus two. Definitely. Meanwhile, Jesse has a Hulk Bustered up Sentinel next to his monster. And I've got Iron Fist, who, you know, killed a dragon before he had powers. So I'm not overly worried. <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm winning Lake Hellas six to nothing, Crimson Cosmos three to nothing, and Jesse's up seventeen eleven on Monster Island. Wong joins the action at the Crimson Cosmos while Jesse lands a Quinjet and a Sentinel at Lake Hellas, giving him a seven six advantage there. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Yellow, uh, Yellow Jacket and Vision at the Crimson Cosmos. Magic on Monster Island, which gives me another turn to try to dig myself out of this hole, with Jesse leading mm. seven six, ten five, and seventeen thirteen. Okay, that better Rescue. not be Thor. No, it's not Thor. It's going to be the freaking white tiger. I knew it! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, no, I don't think I can pull this off. Oh, man. Can't do it. Eh, we'll just go ahead and retreat. No strategy in it, but there's no way I can win this one. Wow. 2020 at Limbo, all Jesse had to do was put any card there. He already had the lead at Crimson Cosmos, and so winning Lake Hellas wouldn't have done me any good. I couldn't affect any of the other cards there. This game has now become tied. Two left for me, two left for Evan. What a battle this has been. Uh, all right, our first location of our last battle, Nowhere. On reveal effects do not happen at this location. Well, that is fantastic. I dropped Iron Fist on the uh, undisclosed third location, and Yellow Jacket lands in Nowhere. Ooh. New York, turn six. You can move any cards to this location. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure Kingpin's not in your... <laughs> no, no, he's... This third location might... Oh, oh, goodness. Cable's in New York. Baron Mordo's in New York. And Iron Fist is going to bump him over to nowhere, but hopefully he made you draw a six-cost card before he, uh, he left. did. That's good. Not... And it wasn't Yellow Jacket this time, so... No, it was not. Uh, okay, turn three. Olympia just showed up and gave us two cards. I might have a little surprise for Evan here. In New York. Thor likes to hang out in New York. Uh, Jesse really? has a Quinjet and a Sentinel in Olympia. You know, I don't want to criticize your strategy, but the Quinjet, that just seems a little plain. <laughs> Good one. Though. Okay. Oh, hey, guess who I get to play? Deathlock? Yes. I get to oh, play hey. Deathlock on Nowhere. I played the Absorbing Man on Olympia, and he copied Thor's power, so that gives me two Mjolnirs I won't draw in my uh, deck. Better not draw any Mjolnirs. There's Deathlock on Nowhere, where he can't blow up nobody, and uh, Sentinel in New York. All right, all right. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what's happening here. Crap, <laughs> Okay. All right, here it is. Come on. Play magic. Rescue play magic. on Olympia. Electra on New York. Oh, taking out Iron Fist. There magic on Olympia. I don't know if I if a seventh turn will. Yeah, I need a seventh turn because I'm losing everywhere. Scarlet Witch on nowhere, but she can't do anything. But I need those three points. Okay, so two turns left. Jesse's winning seven six at nowhere, six four at New York, and nine seven on Limbo. Man, all right, you have got a lot of open real estate over there, and I have I'm running out of real estate. You got four slots open. I've got six. Thank you. Oh boy. Okay, so. The Hulk Buster, oh, gives Rescue the bonus and frees up an open spot, giving you 19 points on Limbo. And a Sentinel in Nowhere. Does nothing, but that's all right. But here's no. Wong. Do and not. Who's coming with Wong? Do not oh, be it's the mm. So the that. Oh, and the Absorbing Man went to New York with Thor. So with two Mjolnir bursts, I'm up 21-6 there. Jesse's winning 10-6 at Nowhere and up 19-4. 
at uh hmm. Wimbo. Oh, how do I want to do this? <laughs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be good. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. All right, all right, let's see it. Here it comes. And let's see. That's winner take all. Uh, my prediction is White Tiger at Limbo. Oh, there's Iron Man. Oh, doubling up nowhere. White Tiger, yes. And Jesse completes the yes! comeback. Yes. Oh, wow. What a game. Thank goodness. Really? White Tiger. So- Two Tiger Spirits to New York, White Tiger. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only. I was sitting there thinking, like, okay, if White Tiger throws two over on nowhere, I'm tying, and I lost this game because I think you'd win out by points on New York when it came down to it. Uh, essentially, yeah, yeah, I would have won by one. Right. Essentially, when it was all said and done, uh, I won twenty to six at nowhere. Evan won thirty five to six at New York, and then I won nineteen to five at Limbo. Wow, what a comeback. I finally am vindicated. I feel so, so good. Well, you know what? If I'm going to lose to a tech-based team, it ought to be Tony Stark making it happen. So, uh... (laughs) <laughs> Tony, Tony had I, a big, big. I'll round. accept that. I just, uh, I just kind of lost the magic there at the end. Uh, oh, listen to him. Well, I used another white hot room. That's what I mean. Yes. Wow, that helped out a ton. Well, there you go, folks. The the techies take the battle. Thanks a lot for joining us. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the next installment of Snap Material.